Hello, my name is George Hewn, and welcome to Bubble Chart Pro. In this video, we're going to look at how you can interact with the bubble charts and your data to quickly model different scenarios and get a better understanding of the relationships between your projects and the data. Bubble charts are an extremely useful way to study business data in three dimensions, where the x-axis is one dimension, the y-axis is another dimension, and the bubble size is the third dimension. Bubble Chart Pro makes it extremely easy for you to visualize and analyze your data in beautiful bubble charts. When we open a bubble chart, we can see, of course, the bubbles displayed and the relationship of the bubbles in the chart. In this chart, the most attractive projects are the ones with the largest bubble size in the upper left quadrant. These projects have the highest probability of success, the lowest cost, and the highest relative profit margins in that quadrant. Consequently, the least attractive projects are the projects with the smaller bubble in the lower right quadrant. These projects have relatively low profits and the highest cost with the lowest probabilities of success. It's important to remember when looking at a bubble chart that the quadrants show relative relationships between the different objects. Projects in less attractive quadrants are not necessarily bad per se, they just may be less attractive than the projects in the other quadrants. If you want to drill down into the data associated with the project, it's easy to do in Bubble Chart Pro. First of all, when you place the cursor over a bubble and right-click the mouse button, it will display the values for that bubble, showing you the x-axis, y-axis, and bubble size values. You can open the project and edit it by double-clicking on the bubble, either on the bubble itself or on the bubble in the legend. So, let's double-click on Project Hercules to open it up and we can see all the data associated with this project. If we want to modify it, such as changing the color from green to red and the pattern from solid to line, we simply change the data in the form, click Save and Close, and the chart immediately displays the change. Note, as I mentioned, we can also open it from the legend by double-clicking on the bubble icon or the name. So, let's do that and change it back to the solid pattern by clicking on the legend to open it. We can also change the data by simply dragging and dropping the bubble. If I click on a bubble and hold the mouse down until it is selected, and then click on it again, I can move the bubble around and notice that while I'm moving it, the underlying data relative to the coordinate is displayed. So I can drop the bubble wherever I want by releasing the mouse and clicking outside the bubble to deselect it, and the data is automatically updated and saved. Sometimes bubble charts can get pretty crowded, and you may want to look at a particular area of a chart. There are a couple ways that you can do this in Bubble Chart Pro. First, you can simply use the zoom magnification buttons at the bottom of the chart to zoom in and out of the chart. These buttons simply magnify the graphic. However, Bubble Chart Pro makes it easy for you to expand areas of interest in the chart using zoom boxes. So, let's look at how this works. At the bottom of the chart, we'll click on the Draw Zoom Box button. Next, we'll move the cursor to the point on the chart that we want to be the first corner of the zoom box, and then we'll drag the mouse to the second corner of the zoom box and release it. Notice how the chart immediately redraws to display only the bubbles whose centers were contained within the zoom box. As you can see, this is a really powerful way to drill down into groups of bubbles on the chart. To restore the original chart dimensions, you simply click Remove the Zoom Box and the chart is restored to its original coordinates. Though we're not going to discuss it in detail in this video, you can change virtually any display aspect of the chart by using the Chart Preferences form that is opened by clicking on the Modify button at the bottom of the chart. This form contains four screens for modifying the chart parameters, the bubble and colors display, the ticks and grid lines, and the fonts. You can imagine how useful this interactivity can be when you're presenting data to a group or holding a working team session, but there's more. You can also modify your charts directly in your data in the portfolio form. So, if we bring the portfolio form forward, we can select a subset of projects and we'll only see them displayed in the chart. For example, let's look at only projects that have overall value scores of less than 45. So, we select the projects that have scores below 45. 
Next, we'll click the Subset button and only those projects that we selected are displayed in the portfolio form and in the bubble chart form. Now, let's suppose that you want to be able to distinguish these projects from all the others. Bubble Chart Pro lets you modify subsets of projects in only a few mouse clicks. We go to the Modify Selection menu item to open the Modify Selection form. We're going to change the pattern, so we click on the Pattern button and then select the pattern that we want to use. Clicking Modify changes the patterns for all the selected projects so we can instantly distinguish them from all the other projects, as you can see when we click Display All button in the portfolio form. Essentially, this gives you a fourth dimension of visual information and it shows you where these projects are in any other chart. As you can see, Bubble Chart Pro makes it really easy for you to visualize, modify, manipulate, and drill down into your data so that you can get an amazing feel for the relationships between your projects. You can see other videos and download the Bubble Chart Pro free trial demonstration version by visiting our website at www.bubblechartpro.com. My name is George Hewn, and thanks for watching.